I'm Henry Sagerman. I'm at Duke University for the build of a very large uh, art installation called Mathem Alchemy. And I'm going to tell you what we're doing. Perhaps the first thing to say is that there's a lot going on here and I'm not going to show you everything. In fact, I don't myself know everything that's going on. There are dozens of people involved in this project and large parts of it I haven't been involved with. Okay, so what is it? It's an artwork celebrating the creativity and beauty of mathematics, a whimsical fantasy world filled with mathematical designs. Our hope is that people will come away with an appreciation of some of that mathematical beauty or get drawn into a pattern or puzzle somewhere and learn a little of the math behind it. The Math Alchemy project started just before COVID hit, which gave us an extra year to add to the density and to work on things individually before coming together to build it here at Duke University in July 2021. We like to think that the many different media and styles all fitting together more or less well mirrors the way in which mathematics is similarly built by many different people with different backgrounds and techniques and notations. The build is still in progress, so many of the pieces, although they're here, are not currently installed. So in order to explain what's going on, I'll sort of switch back and forth between the full-size installation and this, the quarter-scale maquette. Perhaps a good place to start are the three silhouettes, the young girl, the teenager, and the adult mathematician. These are intended to add a human element to the piece, which is otherwise populated mostly by critters of various kinds. The cavalcade arches over the installation. It's formed from many pages, either of interesting mathematical works or just beautiful mathematics. The cryptography quilt is filled with many different forms of codes and communication methods and also references other parts of the installation. On the other side from the cryptography quilt is the doodle page. This consists of doodles by six or seven female uh, mathematicians as well as the tiling here by pentagons. This is one of the 15 uh, now proved to be only 15 ways of tiling the plane with convex pentagons. Bursting out of the doodle page are the converging and diverging arches. So this one going up here is the converging series of uh, tamari balls. And the other comes, goes all the way around. This is the, div the diverging arch. And since it's a diverging series, well, it's never going to end, so it disappears somewhere down into the bay down there. Tamari is a Japanese art form of winding thread around balls, often involving mathematical patterns with symmetry. Here, only some of the tamari balls are uh, wound with patterns. Uh, those are corresponding to the twin primes, as counted from the first ball in this, in this series. It's hard to overestimate how much work has gone into this installation, but as just one data point, uh, this one tamari ball, the fifth on the divergent sequence, took 20 hours to wrap and stitch. The lighthouse is made out of steel plate that has been bent to the correct shape and welded together. And this uh, required some new mathematics that was created in order to make this design. The rule is that uh, steel plate is fine bending perpendicular to the plane that it's in, but if you try and shear it in some other way, then it just won't do it. And so the idea is to cut strips of steel plate, which you can bend in the way that it likes to bend, uh, and then weld together to make a structure which is very rigid when it's done. On the top of the lighthouse, there are some lights. There's a stained glass dodecahedron with a Fresnel lens and on top of that is a 3D printed sphere, which projects a stereographic projection pattern onto the ceiling. Next to the lighthouse is the area we call downtown, which consists of the Mandelbrot Bakery and the Curio Shop. And on top of the Curio Shop is a little terrace. Going away from the downtown area, Tess the Taurus travels along Zeno's path towards the integral hill. So this scene is all about limits, calculus, and so on. The tiles of Zeno's path get smaller and smaller and smaller. 
Of course, it's difficult to get to the end of Zeno's path. First, you have to get halfway to the end, and then a quarter more, and then an eighth more, and then a sixteenth more, and so on. Integral Hill has two parts, the Lebeg Terraces and the Riemann Cliffs. And these reference the two different ways in which integration is usually defined. Backing onto Integral Hill is the garden scene with many uh, intricate pieces of origami and uh, crocheted hyperbolic surfaces. The silhouette of the girl sits on a stack of books from many different parts of the world and times throughout history. There are also some books that you might not at first think of as being about mathematics. On the other side of the stack of books is the chipmunks playground. Here uh, chipmunks are sorting numbers into either composite or prime by factoring them. And of course they're using acorns in order to do this. In between the downtown lighthouse area and the garden is the bay in which a ship crewed by herons are fishing for knots. So uh, this scene is also known as the nautical scene, K-N-O-T. This is all to do with topology, weaving, knots and so on. Those are the main areas of the build. As you can see, there are intricate details everywhere. These are some time lapses of work over the two weeks that I've been at the build. We've had up to 20 people working nine or more hours each day. If you'd like to learn more about the project and the people who worked on it, there's lots of information at the website mathematicalme.org. If you want to see this when it's complete, the first stop will be at the National Academy of Sciences in Washington, DC. And it should open in mid-January and be there until May. The plan then is for it to tour the United States and internationally, all of course depending on uh, COVID. And then the eventual home of the Mathematical Me Project will be back here at Duke, which will be a permanent installation. So this is the Mathematical Me Project. Thanks for watching.